Good evening folks, it's Solly Jo Lewis from Posh Chalk Interiors and I have the privilege to be posting, streaming from Miss Lillian Chalk Paint page. That was a mouthful. So, say hello Fedra. Tonight we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be doing this little chest of drawers here. I'm going to be popping some wood you bend on, showing you how they work and then I'm going to use Miss Lillian's um, products here to paint and bling it up. Um, in order not to make a lot of noise, I'm gonna be using my griddle. So I've got a heated plate here. Um, let's start off with the wood you bend then. So the wood you bend are moldings and appliques which you can furnish your uh, furniture with and other items around the house. Um, in the cold state, they can be snapped they have all the properties of wood so you can treat them exactly the same they can be drilled depending on the uh, thickness of the molding they can be sanded so let's get a piece of sandpaper you can sand them there's your real sawdust coming off there You can paint them, you can stain them, you can glaze them, you can do anything that you can do with timber. These can also be adhered to glass, plastic, stone, just about any surface uh, basically. But the cool thing about these mouldings, and I'm going to start working because it's not my life where I just go on and on and on for hours. I have a specific amount of time so I'm going to get it all in, I want to get this finished. When they're heated up um, with a simple hair dryer, a heat gun, you have to be careful with heat guns though because they do get very hot and you can char the wood you bend moulding so you have to do it at, the di at a distance. Or what a very clever lady, uh, Tracy Drum Better came up with is using a barbecue griddle. So this whole plate here warms up and if you know what you're using, which I don't know what I'm using most of the time but tonight I do because I'm half prepared half organised, so I've had these on here for 10 or 15 minutes and they're all bendy. So I'm going to get to work, I'm going to start sticking these on, Oop. the brush doesn't drop apart. And I'd just like, like to say a massive thank you to Miss Lillian and her crew, inclu including Kaylee, for inviting me to do this today. So the wood you bend can be adhered with any good wood glue. We are coming out with our own, with our own glue soon. But until then, any specific wood glue, not all generous purpose, um, all purpose glue, because sometimes it doesn't work. And you don't need an awful lot of glue. I have popped some pieces on the surface before I started, just to save time. So I'm now going to try and marry that up with the other side. Theo, would you like to say hello? Because I'm not reading the... Uh, and you can answer any would you bend related questions. Um, hello to everyone. Um... I'm going to have to knock this nail in. I can't see any questions, so... Okay. I did take the handles off here, but because I wanted to incorporate the design of the handles with the wood you bend, the handles on the top have to stay on. You should never knock a nail in with scissors, but I don't have a hammer at the moment. Do we have a hammer anywhere? Yes, we do. <laughs> we do? Okay. I need a hammer. Okay. I don't need a hammer. Either. Right. So we'll get this moulding on. I'm just really conscious of time here. I'm going to centralise that with the other one. 
if you can see I am leaving a few bits sticking out but when I close the drawer it won't matter and just think it looks nice and decorative so I'm going to leave that like that so once you get it on the surface it's still pretty warm this molding and I'm just pressing it down so that it marries up with the contours because this is quite a rounded surface and it is overlapping the hand the hardware there so I'm just pushing it down to get it to marry up with the contour of the surface let me see if it's the same as the other one and then I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of heat from the hair from the uh, heat gun So how is everybody? What are we talking? What are we talking tonight? How is everybody? Um, yeah, they are saying hello. A lot of people are saying hello. No questions at the moment. This is quite a stubborn surface just because it's rounded so when I close the drawer the fact that I've let, let, left these bits protruding above the drawer closure it just I think it just makes it look prettier if this was a drawer above obviously I couldn't have that like that I'd have to cut the moulding it's getting colder and colder and colder here in the UK folks and the moldings are cooling down a lot faster obviously I'm just going to get a little brush and get rid of some of the excess glue. You can use baby wipes if you can get into the crevices. Do you want me to answer the question? Uh, there are no questions, it's just saying hello, but I'm not. Um... Right. If you could share, that would be great, guys. You can't say that. Yeah, you can say sure now. Oh. I'm told you can. That would be fabulous. I know um, Miss Lillian is giving away some stuff tonight and we're going to be giving away some broken mouldings. I just want to get the mouldings onto the surface so that we can get on with the fun part, the painting. Not that putting mouldings on isn't fun, but painting more fun. As you can see here, I have already started to paint a little bit. I was just doing some tests with um, Miss Lillian's Swamp Mud. This acts as a textured base coat, which is great. But I'm also, I'm using it as a colorant tonight. Now. Now this is protruding here also, and I think that's kind of pretty. So I'm just going to stick that down.
And in fact, I want to bring this down a little bit more, so I'm going to get it a bit warmer. And I'm going to start bending it. There is a question. Mm -hmm. How many times can you reheat and bend? As many as you want. If you char them, see how I'm, I'm redesigning this now. If you char them, it does start to lose its elast elasticity. And if you char them and keep them on the surface, obviously there's no problem. But if you want to take them off and reuse them and you char them, uh, it does lose its strength. Uh, other than that, you can Heat these up again and again and again. It's like I use them a lot for pumpkins, uh, Halloween time. What you guys called, uh, what do you guys call it? Not Halloween. What do the Americans call Halloween, Theo? Come on, anybody. What do you guys call Halloween? Um. Would you like to tell uh, again about would you bend? What it is, what exactly is it? And I'll go to the banner. Hmm? Yeah, I'll, I'll just let me get this in for you. So would you like to tell them again about would you bend? Yeah, the would you bends are a cleat. Uh, what are they made of? They're made out of a special material combined with wood pulp. They're inoculus. And they have all the properties of wood so they can be sanded, stained, painted, waxed, glazed. Right, that's on now. Um, this little girl here has lost a wing and she's also lost her head, so she'll be going in the prize box tonight. Just pop her over there. And I thought these were really cute as well. A little pseudo keyholes. I'm so funny, Rima. I'll tell you a really funny story now, guys. You guys know that I went on holiday, yeah? And I put on 12 kilos, so in American money, that's 26 pounds in weight. American what? Huh? In American terms, it's 24 pounds. 12 kilos, 26, 26 pounds. So I've been trying to diet for the past couple of days and it's not really working because I like my food too much. Anyway, today I got up, uh, got dressed to come down to the workshop to do the live. Went in the laundry basket and I put these jeans on and I thought, do you know what? I don't know where these jeans, I can't remember buying these jeans. I thought, oh, they're nice and slack as well. I must have lost, I must have lost some weight. 
And then as I was getting out of the car, my husband saw the label on the back of them. They're not my jeans, they're his. So I'm wearing the cameraman's jeans tonight. <laughs> right, I think there is a question. I've been told to, uh, whenever I see a question, to tell you. Right. So, they come in those shapes, or do you have to make them from molds? No, 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 no. they come in these shapes. We have over 3,000 designs. Um, this material cannot be put in ordinary plastic molds. Um, because when the pulp goes into these, they go into a steel mold and then they receive 400 pounds of pressure. And that's one of the secrets towards them being bendable. So we sell them as they are. Okay. And that's the wood you bend part, guys. So now on to the fun part. So it's Jean now. I want to see if Jean, Jean's enjoying herself in, in uh, Florida. Hey, Ga Gary Ann. Right, so this is going to go in the prize box. I'm not going to put any more on. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to clutter it. Now I know this is used as a, like an undercoat for good adherence to really slippy surfaces. I don't think I would have needed it on this particular surface, but I like the colour. So I'm going to do an ombre and I'm going to be using this colour. I'm going to be using my signature colour, Josephine. And I'm going to be using antique white. Miss Lillian also very kindly sent me three beautiful brushes. So I'm going to start off with it. I don't know the names of these brushes, Kaylee. So is this like a petite brush, one of the smallest ones? So I'm going to start off with this one, Mud. Um, there's another question about the link. About the link. Well, Kaylee. Is there a link? Yeah, Kaylee, can you pop the link up, darling? Can do that. Um, for those who know me, um, I need to pop in now. Um, I'm only answering questions tonight. Related to the wood you bend. Yeah, related to the wood you bend. So, <clears throat> I apologize, uh, Reba and Shaz. So you can see how the coverage, how well the would you bend mouldings cover. There's another question from Amy Sturm. Is there retailers located on your website? I would love to try in California. Yeah, we do. We have a find a stockist page. So there's a store locator up there. But Kayla can pop all that in the uh, in the comments. So look at that coverage. So what's the weather like in the US guys? Is it still nice and hot like it was the other day? Oh, we're sat here in our coats, freezing. And you guys have got fabulous weather. There's another question. Are there any retailers in Tennessee, USA? Yes, there are. So I'm just going to get some thin coats on here. Get some paint on the surface. What time are we on? There's another question. Do the corner mouldings go over a small portion of the handles? 
yes they are going over a small portion of the handles and I've done that on purpose I'm just going over this again So the first coats, we're just slapping the paint on basically, then I'll start blending as of the second coat. Well, blending neatly, should I say. So the swamp mud, I don't know whether this is right or wrong, but I'm using it as a blending colour. And it's looking just fine to me. Oh, and we're up to 100 viewers, guys. So I'm going to put some more mouldings in the box. Get this colour on. Ooh, I like the combo of those uh, colours. Right. So I'm putting broken moulders in here, guys. You can use these on... People like the broken moulders because they can use them on uh, crafting projects. We're still at 100. 100. <clears throat> so I'm being pretty messy right now, but I'm not that particular because on the second coat I'll blend stuff in neatly. I'm loving these colours together. And this is a really pe easy piece to paint because you don't have to paint the sides. The only thing you have to paint is the front and the top. So I'm going to come in with some antique white now. I'm just going to throw that away. Sorry, one minute. We've all had a good rested Sunday. I'm not sure about the top. I'm really, really inclined to leave it as it is. What do you all think? Should I do a metallic on the top? Should I take it back to the swamp mud, the colour of the swamp mud? Yeah, it is a beautiful blue, isn't it? Now, I'm just going to dry that off for a bit whilst we're thinking about the colours here. I'm 
definitely going to use the metallics for the, uh, for the moldings. I'm really tempted to start off down here in metallics, come up with the swamp mud and blend that into the Josephine and finish it off with an antique white and then another metallic on top to tie it in. How does that sound? Hey Betty. I love browns and blues together. They really do tie in nicely. I think I'm going to have to come in with this other colour here in between the blue, in between the Josephine. 120. 120, okay. Let's get some more broken bits put in here. And we're giving one of these away tonight as well.
That was a beautiful bunch of grapes. There's a question, is that grey stone? This is grey stone, yep, yeah, sorry. Now when you're blending guys, you, most times you do need water, but you don't want to swamp your surface. It's all down to practice. And there we've got a lovely gradient through the browns, ready for the Josephine. This piece of this particular piece of furniture is going into my home. I'm painting this for me. Um, there's a question, but I don't know if it probably it's for would you Ben or. Can I sell this in my booth and buy direct, or how does that work? Unless it's for Miss Lillian's paint, I don't know. Oh, well, can answer that one. Are the keyholes would you bend? The keyholes are would you bend, yes. A Sahara beach, a Sahara desert going on here. I'm this. You're right. So, a question I uh, said before from Barb Brady as for the wood you bend. Yeah, you can sell this in your booth. Oh, I'm liking that. So I've loaded my brush, guys, and I'm now coming down to blend, blend it back in. So the question was, can I sell in my booth and buy direct, or the, how does that work? If you can message us afterwards, we, I'll give you all the information. Oh, we do have stockists online and they can, they can answer. Kaylee, who also is a, a would you bend stockist. She can answer you later on, maybe. I think she's busy moderating this live. So don't you
Yeah, so we'll let that dry. And we will now decide what we're going to put on the top. Do I go pearl or do I go like gold? I think that's going to be nice. Hold on. Thanks, Wendy. He's a good cameraman. And I think what's going to look really great on this, I'm going to do some raised stenciling with the metallics on it. Not today. Um, when it's dried, thoroughly dried. Careful you don't paint your clothes. Huh? I've already painted your jeans. I'm getting a really nasty look now. I've painted his jeans up. <laughs> I'm getting dagger eyes now because these are these are one of his good pairs of jeans. Well, you left them on my laundry pile. It's not my fault. So, how are you liking it guys so far? Okay, we've got 20 minutes left. I think 20 minutes is enough to give me, I'm gonna go over it again. So I'm coming in with the, Second coat of the metallics. <clears throat> There's another question. Is the metallic the only product on top? Sorry? Is the metallic the only product on top? Yes. We've been using, we're using cashmere now. There's a lovely dark bronze color. I love my metallics. Now I'm going to come back in with a little bit of the swamp mud. It's got a particular night swamp bud. Oh, it's just brown, brown swamp bud. Which metallic is that? This is the that swamp bud. That's not metallic. The metallic is uh, the one that I'm using on the bottom is cashmere. And the one that I'm using on the top is champagne. I'll come back in with the grey stone. And I spritz it ever so slightly. I'll tell you what I do want, uh, I need guys, um, I need somebody to send me one of those lovely bottles. I, I couldn't order them, um, those spritz bottles. Misting bottles, what they're called.
I going back in with Josephine? And for those of you that don't know me very well, my name is not Solly Joe. Well, Solly Joe is my nickname, but my name, my real name is Josephine. Solly was my grandfather. Now I've made a mistake, I've got too much paint on my brush, so I'm going to get some paper towel. starting to drag a bit so I'm gonna spritz it just a little tiny bit. I said before you have to be really careful when you're blending as to how much water you spray onto the surface. You have to be careful around hardware as well that you don't get deposits of paint because when you blend in and all of a sudden you go over the hardware again or a protrusion, it can bring a blob of paint out. And all this is serving, as I said before, as a backdrop anyway, because I will be doing some uh, ray stenciling over the surface. This blue really is a beautiful blue. Look at that. The baby blue. Sorry about this guys, I didn't anticipate that I'd be using so many brushes. I started off, I was only going to do two, two, two three colours and I'm using five here, so I don't want to contaminate them. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's not very good in here tonight because I forgot my ring light. But I'm just going to spritz that because the metallics haven't blended perfectly with the swamp mud. But they have no choice, they will blend just because I couldn't see before. Just 
cleaning a little bit more of the metallic. I'm not going right into the grooves here. I'm leaving the swamp wood showing. It just gives the detail, it gives the wood you've been moulding more depth. Always great to start off with your darker colours and then come up in colours. Right, so another layer on top. Can you not hear me, Bob? <coughs> <Am I driving? coughs> I'm mumbling anyway, Bob. I'm just a mumbler. Sorry about that. <clears throat> You're choking, dear. Mm. Now we haven't got long left, so I may just leave the top later on. I will be posting images, these photographs, on Miss Lillian's fan forum. But I just want to show you how I'm going to highlight the detail. And we're going to do that with pearl. brush guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sponge and I'm just going to dry brush over okay. it's been sat for too long I'll just shake it up a bit very very subtle in fact is that subtle I think I could go over the antique oh yes oh yes I could go over the antique white let's give it another There's a question, is that pearl shimmering luster? It, uh, this is pearl, oh is it shimmering luster? Oh yeah, shimmering luster. So I'm using this wrong, I do apologise. I'm using this wrong, yeah, I want something. Sorry, I should have practised before I came online. That is obviously a, a shimmer. So, uh, the other choice I have in the metallics is a copper. I'm just going to dab a bit of this off. Sorry about that, Kylie. I 
think copper is going to be too, maybe too strong for this. So, I'll use this colour. The champagne. See how that goes on. There you go, that's nice. This is all trial and, er trial and error for me because I haven't used these paints very much. I was, they have been in the workshop for over a month now, but we went on holiday for a month and we've just been so busy since we've got back. I've not had time to do hardly any. The only painting I'm doing recently, oh, that's nice, is online. So offline, I don't do any painting at all, unfortunately. Yeah, I've used it there, Kaylee. Yeah. I'm just gently skimming over the surface. I don't want to overload this piece. Do you see how nicely the wood you blend has blended in with the original hardware? And these keyholes are, as they are formerly known, escutons, escutons. I think they, they add a little bit of... Um, Decoration to the whole piece. And last but not least, this big fella down here. Let's see, Theo, if you can just go, because I can only see it on the camera. 135, 138. No, I'm talking about the actual piece. I'm just So what do you think, guys? Show me some love. Show me some hearts. What do you think? And as I said, I'm going to go over with another couple of coats of the champagne metallic. Oh, thank you. How are you enjoying Florida, Jean? Hey, Aries. And just for all those hearts, I'm gonna put, oh, I found the wing, I found the wing to the, I wonder if I can find a head. Would be a good idea if we had a head, wouldn't it? No. And there we have a head. So, this little lady, and this is one thing, if you receive your wood you bend mouldings broken, no problem whatsoever. I'm going to attack, reattach your head. If we've got a couple more minutes, if that's okay with Miss Lillian's, a couple more minutes, show you how they attack, how, how, they, how they can be put back together if you receive them broken. So, very simple. Heat up the ends.
<coughs> a tiny dab of wood glue. And on the other edge as well. I'm going to reheat that up. And I'm going to hold her head. In place for about 30 to 40 seconds. And in actual fact, where the head has broken off, that point becomes stronger than before. So she's still bending. See there, she's nodding her head. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You put my head back on. Thank you. And there you have it. She's fixed. She's still a bit bendy. But as soon as that goes cold, and the person that will receive these will be able to tell us that, and I hope they do, when you receive that, you will not be able to, that will not snap off again. So if you do receive break, broken mouldings, no problem. You just stick them back together with a bit of glue. So that's gone in there. And a couple more. So guys, if you are interested in becoming a stockist of the Would You Bend Mouldings, get in touch with me if you want to become a stockist of the Miss Lillian, get in touch with uh, Kaylee, Miss Lillian. Um, thank you ever so much for this opportunity, I've had a really good time, love the paints. Um, and I will be posting, I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to do some race stenciling on here. Um, and I will then post pictures of the finished product um, on the page and in Miss Lillian's uh, fan forum. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you soon. This is Solid Joe Lewis signing off. Bye guys. Okay, I've come back guys. I've just seen the winner of International Share for the Paint is Shaz Connerbeer. Well done Shaz. Well done darling. Fabulous. And within the next half an hour or so we will be uh, seeing who shared the most and who's going to win the, the Broken Wood Juven Mold. Bye again.